All right, guys, what's up? So we are here. Uh, so we are in Murkwater Catacombs. I guess I don't have to talk as quiet. I have to talk a little bit quiet because everybody else is sleeping. Um, baby's actually up with my wife right now. So I'll turn uh, here. He came out. Ooh. And it's, it's this one. If it's what I'm thinking of, it's not that bad. Um, I say, like, start to get my butt slammed. Why am I not just using. There we go. Okay, way more complicated than I needed to. Trip ahead, do our I noticed. I'll take the same thing. This one's, um, oh, and the other one, we had to go all the way, you know, around. Actually, go ahead. You can take them out. Uh, we are actually going to do these real fast. So when you see traps in these places, uh, it's not bad to try and line them up a little bit. Straightforward. This one is. We don't have a lot of health left, but we really don't need a lot for this one. And we have that also. So we're just going to get your summon ready. Yeah, he's not too bad. Just kind of keep your distance. Your dogs will kind of. Oop. Keep him occupied, and he. Oop. Just be careful because um, maybe you can the chains on his hands, but he can actually point them. He can get you at long distance also. There's a break in there. Which, that's fine. Now he is actually a really, really good summon at the beginning. Now the issue is especially like if you're not doing like a faith or caster build. So the one thing with FP, if you're not really using spells or incantations, um, you might not think about using them very much. I mean, like obviously the you know, Asher Bores and skills and stuff require you to use them, but I mean. Actually, right here, we're gonna do the YXA to kill back because if you pause there too long, the slimes start coming, and there's kind of a pain. Here we go, and we're fully healed. Um, oh, she's here now, so that means now she will actually be the one that will 
You know, I don't think you can level up your stuff until you get there's a special item in. There we go. There's a special item in here. It's like right around there almost. Greetings. My name is Roderica. Isn't this around here? I never knew. Although no, I'm she actually me. has. It's all a bit. I'm still looking. For a basically her quest and everything is lined up with his well i took you no matter to lay out your arms the girl you bought here she's crestfallen and can scarcely she has a gift i saw another one like her, her eyes he seemed like so she doesn't know what she can do yet but he knows it's all a bit i'm still looking you're telling me I, I don't believe you. If I do have this talent, I suppose I should try to hope. I'll ask Master certainly. He, I know he. I can tell. If I, I suppose I'll ask my. Yeah, but it's, I don't think he can do anything. Back or no matter. The girl. Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with absurd? I refuse to. I don't doubt you, but. Is it? I. I don't remember if she even can right away. I suppose I'll ask my. You rest and see if she moves. Oh, she did move. Yeah, she set up shop. Uh. Good to see you again. I have you to thank. I can have. I'm as yet. But, and if there's well, I search Roderick. Yeah, now, um, yeah, so Grave Glove Words will do these, but for your special ashes, you need Ghost Glove Word. I said, he's really good starting off. I said, it's 100 though, so it's a little pricey. Well, I took you no matter. Lay out your own. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift, so I told her I'm indebted. It was a work. I'm sorry. I... Greet, are you here for. Which we're not really going to worry about it right now. I mean, you can if you want to. It does help, but you really don't need to worry about it right now. So let's go out. Uh, what did I put there? Oh, there's a... That's right. If you if you go there, that's your first kind of like NPC summon or invasion. There's actually another one right here. So I'm going to go ahead. Which is why I said stick around. There we go. Just so I remember them. Um, but um, but um, but um. Okay, so last time we did this, we did patches, we went up through here, and we didn't explore all of this yet. Did we do his yet? No, we haven't done that one yet. Um, talk to Sorceress, selling already. Yeah, there's an area here we still need to do. I love this, the whole being able to do that, like kind of pinpoint. So if anything else, we can go here next. Uh, there's also actually a sorcery scroll, scroll, sorcery scroll that you can get there. Uh, we need to go down here. I uh, know it's a trick getting down there. And actually this will lead back around to the beginning. Um, Merchant, we are just the box stuff. Yeah, so let's fast travel. Here. And we'll go down. We could have started at selling, but you know. We don't know. I really have no idea why I did this one. Oh, should it go back to morning time? Because I'm not dealing with the nights. And also, I mean, it's not, so it, it's not bad to travel around at night because technically, you know, with the enemies being harder, you do take a chance of getting more, um, runes and stuff from them. I guess I haven't showcased this yet. So if you see these, they're, they do come up on the map, but basically... 
it gives you kind of like a really big so you can kind of see like oh that's what that is over there or if there is like somebody specific you're looking for like an npc or just want to kind of check an area out it, it, it's, it's cool um i haven't had to really use them too much but uh you know they're they're, they're good to use i knew uh, Kaled, I did use it specifically because Kaled. <sighs> Kaled terrifies me, which it used to really terrify me at first and doesn't as much now. Is this the way we want to go? Mm. I guess we can do up there first. No, I'm getting ahead of myself. Go this way. If you see up there, there is an item up there. Try to go ahead and grab it real quick. And after I break aggro from the sky, I'm going to show something else, which I didn't really notice it at first. Until... I might have even talked about it in another video, but I'll talk about it again. Because I don't remember. There we go, go on gold pickled ones when you see this on your map i'll go ahead and actually mark this here um those are coffins did we get them i don't think we got them yet i said i ended up starting my face playthrough not too long before i started actually recording this and same time let's say now if you knock if you uh this is the sorcerer's the only one we have to worry about with that group now when you see these so that they're carrying a chest you really only need to take one of them out to be able to get it you have to take one of the trolls out Any of them was kind of way there. You don't need to be in hit nose. Yeah, then he, he just stops so you can run over. Open it up. I think this is. Yeah, great axe. I don't want to get anything out for doing this. There's so many of them. Oh. Oh. So much for the iframes. It's weird that there's two of them. I don't know if, for some reason, uh, two groups match up together, but I don't remember there being this many. Anyways, now that we've got that, now you can, I mean, he, this dude's not gonna move. He's just kind of there. Now, if you try to, like you, if I do this, he's kind of like, I know, they have tablets in them also. But he, he's not gonna do nothing. But, you know, the turn. Now once you, like, attack him, attack him, he'll end up breaking his chain. You get mad. Yeah. 
And it's really not, this is really, like, it's so... Yeah, the waypoint is literally right there. So, this really isn't a bad early farm, to be honest. Ooh, and it's like, I can't remember, I don't think I did this last time. Take the wolves out. You know what? Oh, lift. There we go. And then go ahead and grab your runes. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do that here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, for this area here, I found it's best to kind of go all the way around. Oh, also, you can actually see... Oh, you can actually get down to Mistwoods from here. Um, you go down that way, and then down. There's more coffins. And there's actually that castle thing which you go to, which we will more than likely have time to do this episode. Right here, I always found it's best to go up and around because up on top of there, which I need to get uh, magnifying glass at some point, but those dudes will snipe you. So if you can try to take them out first, just because they're a pain. I suggest taking this one out first because from what I've seen he can't see you from there but he can see you from there at least that's been my issues all right this is your first scroll I said once again I'm not giving any of my stuff to sell in um or the dude at the main shop just specifically because. And once again, you can. Now, with Selen's questline, she has, there's, um, with Selen's questline, there's two different outcomes. You can either side with the witch hunter, when, if you, so if you do that, obviously you will be killing Selen. Um, now if you do that, you cannot give her any more. And I said, you, you technically can side with either, but it just, I think if you're wanting to have, like, as many of your souls, and, like, your spells and stuff like that in one place, it's going to be... Basically, he's the one I didn't want to alert him quite yet. That's fine. Oh, shit. Asshole. Anybody else? I thought I saw somebody else like cowering. You? Question mark? 
could sneak up behind him and Yeah, and when you see them drop down. Oh no, he died, never mind. Anyways, if when you knock, it's a very, very short window, like you have to be quick. But if you knock somebody off of their horse, you can actually go in for a um a critical hit on them. Which is cool. It especially helps with the, the night riders though like they have a health bar. So they have the main health bar, but their horse also has a health bar. And now don't don't think that you know after you kill their horse it, it can just be like a one-on-one -on -one battle you can get back on yours. Um I think it's like after What the fuck where'd you come from? Oh that's right, okay. As a I found out by accident that Jesus Um There yeah, that's right, they have range attacks. Uh, there are... Did we hit it? Nope, he's still, he's running. Yeah, no, I think we are also running. So, there are... There are a couple, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a spell that they've been placed under. Um, I've always been waiting for somebody to come up with a lore video on it that maybe did a little more detail. But there's a couple of like, just like the random runaround people. Um, or I guess, uh, thrall, zombies, whatever you want to call them. Um, undead. That they will actually they aren't what they look like. Um, most of them end up turning into those goddamn rune bears. And it, I don't know. People talk about the dogs being the worst thing on here. Or we're getting this, by the way. There we go. We got it. We're gonna run. Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay. Um, talk about the, the dogs and crows, which they are terrifying. Like they're incredibly terrifying. Uh, early on, they're they're not that bad. At the same time, though, like just basically don't be intimidated by how big they are, or how much they hurt or knock you down. Um, but. Uh, Ultimately, stay aggressive with them, and you can take them down. The rune bears, though, man, I. Oh, yeah, but oh, wait. can I jump? Have I been able to hop down to there this whole goddamn time? I can only go all the way over there and go across and make it a lot more complicated. Did you see that dude walking down there? That's where we want to go. Now, especially if you're doing like. If you like the gravity spells and stuff, that's a really good one to go to. But actually, no, that's not where we want to go. Right there. Now, if you see those, try to aim for them. Because not only will they launch you up, they safely have it to where you can get back down. Which is cool. I like it. Um, now you do have to make sure you're aiming properly. Can I hit him from here? No. Why are you trying? Oh, he dodged. Yeah, be careful with that. That attack actually works really well with the birds. There we go. And you get Ashabor I think it's Gravitas. Um basically you slam your sword into the ground. Now unfortunately you can't get the cool thing that he did where he launched out. There is a spell you can get for that though. Um 
which I do. But we want to take out this dude. I don't remember if it's like with the item is it it's protecting, but some graphics. There we go. But the item that you saw at the beginning of the game, we turn around like, oh, how do I get up there? This is how. Go ahead and put our lantern back on. And the Halidric Talisman basically just... Why am I just not getting this stuff? I did that like forever ago. Um, it uh, negates lightning. Yeah, so you have fire. Now you have oh, holy. Okay. Uh, do -do -do. Not that. And we we'll actually want to do this, and we can actually. I know exactly where this is, so we'll. I actually probably could have done that. That's fine. Now, and it's actually where, where more than likely you're getting this, uh, this episode. Um, there are paintings. Is it? Walking off or just staying there yelling. Just staying there yelling. Oh, and if you're wanting to farm these guys for their armor, this is a good spot. Actually, mildly soon. Um, you know, I'm not gonna spoil it. We'll get to, we'll get to it. But I'm gonna say which one it is. I'm gonna be wrong. I'm pretty sure. Ow. We got it. I got it early last time. Oh. oh shit. Now, also, when you see the ones with the glowing eyes. They give you more than the others. There's more? Spending all my shit. This is what I'm talking about. You just go wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I don't think their horse, his horse will hurt you. I've actually never seen one run away. Didn't actually know that they did that. I guess also nine times out of ten. You kick their horse? Will he attack me? No, he just runs away. This, and then those... Well, you can attack me if you want. Um, I'm going to spend that much time doing that. Um, oh yeah, it, so basically if you explored up here already, you would have clicked this and it would have told you about catacombs. Uh, yeah, we want to... Oh, I forgot this was here. It's kind of oddly placed. Now, the one thing you will see throughout this game is that there are quite a few 
um, that they're just, I don't know, they just seem like they're out of place. Because that being there, like there's not, there's not a lot up this way that that would make sense in. And yeah, we do want to go up this way because there is a hidden cave back there. We will more than likely do that next episode. Oh shit. There we go. One plus thing with the double. Is it nighttime? What is here now? Unless they just weren't here because that guy was spawned in last time. I guess I normally don't come down here very often, so like I do like that whole run there. But you can actually also get here. There's a path that leads up from that road. Yeah, artist shack. So basically, the trick is, and you can take a screenshot of this. Like you can, because you can pull them up again. They are, yeah, like here. And it's, you don't want to find like what's in the background. It's basically saying so. An artist painted this picture. So, like, where were they standing when they painted this? And I know what this one is. We'll actually get this here in just a minute. Um, it's actually about wrap-up time. There's one more thing I wanted to do real quick. This is why I need to keep notes on stuff. Because I get sidetracked so easily. Do the artist shack. Hmm. You know what? I don't remember. Also. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, since she left, it's the. Yeah, Storm Up Shack. I need to keep notes. Either that or like try to keep a slightly straightforward head. And if you come back here. Just a little present. I don't know if we have enough to look up the last right now. No, we don't. Which is fine. That's cool. Alright, y'all. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one, and we will do that hidden cave, as well as uh, wouldn't likely probably be able to finish up Northern Limgrave and be able to move from there. Alright, y'all. See ya.